So with the basic definition of a factor, let's see how prime numbers are defined in terms of factors. So as we have seen the definition of a factor which says that a number which divides the given number is called a factor. Now prime numbers are those numbers which have their factors as 1 and itself only. There will not be any factors in between 1 and 36 but the number itself and 1 will be the factors for prime numbers. So I define the prime numbers as the numbers whose only factors are 1 and itself. So the only factors would be 1 and itself. Suppose I take for example 23. So when I see this number I don't find any factors for 23 except 23 by 1 which is 23 therefore this will be the factor this will be the factor and also this can be written as 23 by 23 which is 1 therefore this also is a factor because this divides this to be 1 and this divides this to be 23. So the only factors for 23 are 1 and itself hence it's a prime number. This is how we define and this being one of the example of a prime number since 23 has only one and itself as the factors therefore 23 is a prime number so this is a prime number by the basic definition of a prime number so prime number is defined as that number whose only factors are one and itself with 23 being one of the example now let's take another example where I identify the prime number or not a prime number. Indirectly identifying the factors and then deciding for the number to be a prime number or not a prime number. So let me take an example of the number 117. Now let me see what are the factors for this. As I clearly see that this can be written as 13 times of 9. Therefore the factors for this are the possible factors I find for 117 are 1, 9, 13 and 117. So these are the factors for the number 1, 1, 7. So as we all know that these are the basic trivial factors which exist for every number 1 and itself. Now because there are other factors 9 and 13, the definition clearly says that the numbers whose only factors are 1 and itself are only called the prime numbers but here since 9 and 13 are also the prime the factors for the given number 117 therefore 1 and 117 are not the only factors of this this being itself so 1 and itself are not the only factors of this therefore 117 is not a prime number. Prime number cannot be expressed as product of two different factors but because this can be expressed this is not a prime number. Okay, This is how we define the prime numbers with basic examples and when I take a note a prime number cannot be expressed as product of two factors. When I take two non-trivial factors, when I take one and itself, they are trivial factors, so cannot be expressed as product of two non-trivial factors in case of a prime number. That is how we define a prime number connected with the concept of factors. So let's see some interesting prime numbers which have been identified in the branch of mathematics by various mathematical researchers. So some interesting primes here are 11, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 9. What is the interesting part I identify in case of these four primes? These are identified to be the primes which do not have any factors. 
But what is the interesting fact which this, these numbers have? What are the interesting concepts? What do you identify? So these four primes are said to be the primes with each of a digit increasing by one unit. Of course, this being an exceptional case, I find that each of the digit of in case of these three, the other three primes is consecutive digits identified here. As I find here two, then increase by one unit, the next consecutive number is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. So these are the primes. with consecutive digits with adding of one unit to every previous unit. So these are the four primes out of which these three are the primes with consecutive digits. Now coming to the next interesting prime number concept. Now to start with I have a number a very large number a large and a very large number which is a prime number but interestingly it follows a particular pattern suppose I take a number starting with 82 then my next two digits are the next consecutive reduced digit every time I reduce one unit then I get 80 then I have 79 78 So I'm just writing these digits with every time reduced by one unit. So 82, 81, 80, 79. So I go in the descending order of 82 until I reach 69, 68, until I reach 3, 2, 1. Or I reach up to 98098765432 2, 1. So a large prime number which can be written from 82 until it reaches to 1 when I reduce by the consecutive integers then that very large number interestingly is a prime number. The whole of the number with so many digits is a prime number. This can be done from the Google search in the internet which will give you interesting results on how this is a prime number. So Google search is recommended in case of this number. So a Google search is recommended in case of this prime number. And interestingly, the number is a pattern because when I start from 82, I reach to the next number, which is one unit less than, one unit less than, one unit less than, and so on and so forth until I reach to one. And this whole number forms a prime number. The only factors for this number being one and itself. No other factors in mathematics and the numbers. So the next concept is about finding the number of factors. As revisiting the previous problem where we have been finding the factors of 36 in one of the example problem. Let's take back as a recap the example problem with finding the factors of 36. So when I take the factors of 36, I identify that. The factors were 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 18, and 36. Now, for this number, the factors are very much with the definition of the numbers which are divisible with 36. But in this concept, we are going to identify the number of factors which exist for a given number. Say, for example, for 36, the number of factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Therefore, 36 has 9 factors. Now, finding the number of factors for a two-digit number or a smaller number is quite easy. But when I have a very big number, very large, which has 100 digits or 1000 digits, then finding the number of factors for that particular number, very large number, cannot be done so easily. So in this case, we derive a formula where we find the number of factors for any large number or any smaller number, however big or however small a number is. So for this, let's reintroduce the concept of primes because prime numbers are very much associated with 
finding the number of factors of a given number. Now as we all know that the least prime is 2. 2 is the least prime. To start with 2, the next prime is 3, then 5, then the next prime is 7, but 9 is not the prime because 3 times of 3 is 9. So 3 is the factor for 9. Therefore, then I go to 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. So using these primes, let me define the formula for number of factors. So let me take the number as n. So let n be the number for which I have to find the number of factors for that n. As we all know that the factors for n are 1 and itself, that is 1 and n. So let's see the all possible factors which can be found for the number n, which is taken as a formula. So let n be the number. So if I can express the number as product of prime factors, if a number n can be expressed as product of prime factors, say for example in the form 2 power a, the first prime being 2, then 3 power b, then the next prime being 5 is 5 power c, then 7 power d and so on and so forth. Then in that case, the number of factors for this expression, once I express the number in this form as all product of prime factors, then the number of factors is given by the formula a plus 1 into b plus 1 into c plus 1 into d plus 1 so on and so forth. So this is how I get the total number of factors which is taken as a separate formula. So using the number of factors I can find this by taking all the powers a, b, c and d then adding 1 to each of them I get a as a plus 1 and b as b plus 1 and c as c plus 1 and then my d is d plus 1 and so on and so forth until I get the product of prime factors. If my prime factors for a given number halt at 5 then only a, b, c are the formulas which are taken unto a plus 1, b plus 1 and c plus 1. If my factors are expressed only in the powers of 2 and 3 then these two are delta, then my formula would reduce only to a plus 1 into b plus 1. So correspondingly, based on the number of prime factors expressed, the formula extends unto that prime number power.